Hi everyone, today we are also going to continue our reading analysis in terms of reading Cambridge 7 test 2, reading passage 1. It's about the pagodas which situated in Japan and China. You know, the pagodas is a kind of building that can, that there were, was, that were used it, uh, as a religious uh, purposes and uh, the other type of purposes. So let's figure out what's happening here. First of all, we've got four questions about uh, the question yes, no, not given. So the next one uh, just begins from five to 10. And uh, this one is called a classifying information. So classifying information is somehow easier because uh, you need to figure out what is just which one just concerns about which information and the last one is about multiple choice questions so let's begin with the yes no not given okay just as I mentioned before I mean in my previous video lessons always try to pay attention to the numbers which is given in the text so this one is really useful for 1400 years all right which means here so let's read the text out loud uh, only two Japanese, so only two Japanese pagodas have collapsed. So uh, they only two Japanese pagodas have collapsed in, in 1400 years. So let's read it. So uh, in a land swept by typhoons and shaken by earthquakes, how have Japanese tallest and seemingly Flames says the old buildings, 500 or so wooden pagodas remained standing for centuries. Record shows that only two have collapsed during the past 1400 years. Yeah. So, according to this data, I mean this sentence, we could, we could figure out that it has collapsed, right? It has already collapsed. So, uh, and uh, it it was two of them, so which means yes, the answer is yes. And the next one is the Hanshin earthquake of 1995 destroyed the pagoda at the Toji Temple. So 1995 Hanshin earthquake and destroyed, it, which means destroyed, which which situated at the Toji Temple. So let's hear, pay attention here. Hanshin earthquake in 1995 killed uh, 6,400 people, toppled elevated highways, flattened office books, and devastated. So devastated, which means destroyed, right? So it has devastated the port area of Kobe, yet, yet, it means nevertheless. Nevertheless, right? So nevertheless, that's the keyword. Uh, it left the magnificent five-story pagoda. Sorry, sorry, I'm so sorry. Uh, pagoda at the Toji Temple, unscathed. So let's figure out this. Uh, unscathed. Unscathed. Unscathed, right? Uh, without injuries or damage. So unscathed means no damage right you know uh, as i just mentioned in the previous lessons uh, there are some words that should be figure out the definitions in order to figure out the correct answer right unscathed means no damage which means uh, there had been damage but in terms of the temple i mean uh, the pagoda which is situated in the Toji temple, it's unscathed, which means it's, it's no. Mm -hmm. So next one. The other building near Taj Mahal, sorry, <laughs> just I said Taj Mahal, right. Toji pagoda had been built in the last 30 years. Let's figure out the keywords. Toji, uh, like Taj Mahal, right, uh, had been built in the last... 30 years so last 30 it was only 30 years ago that the building of 
the, the building industry felt confident. So let's talk about another sentence because the, the meaning just express, expressed in a different way because uh, 30 years ago, there was another occurrence, right? Which means, let's say, let's say not given here, okay? Not given with double, without double one. So the last one, the builders of pagodas knew how how to absorb, absorb, right? How to delete some of the power uh, produced by severe, severe weather condition. Yeah. So they knew, they knew beforehand how to do, how to deal with the uh severe and uh, severe weather conditions right and not so confident enough to avoid of supplies still with concrete it more than a dozen of floors blah 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 yeah to the old place and with a sticky uh structure upright in the most of the food how to absorb Yeah, you, you see we have a word about shock absorbers right here, just how come I didn't see, right? Uh, let's read out loud. The building industry felt, the building industry is talking about the builders, right? Building industry is about builders, so they felt confident. They felt confident means they knew they knew beforehand uh, enough to erect office blocks of steel and reinforced concrete that had more than a dozen floors with its special shock absorbers to dampen the effect. To dampen the effect means to absorb the power, right? Of sudden sideways movements from an earthquake. So earthquake here, the synonym to the weather condition. So it's yes the next one it's about classifying the the details which are given in the below the sentences or just word combinations right so let's say it's about both oh sorry sorry uh, it's about both Chinese and Japanese pagodas, only Chinese, only Japanese, right? The first one is both, and this one is about Chinese, and this one is about Japanese pagodas. <clears throat> uh, you know, just that that's not pagoda, that's not pagoda in Russian, you know, in Russian pagoda means weather, but here it's a building. Mm -hmm. So you see, here we have a word Japan from China, which means the beginning of the answer should begin here. The multi-story pagoda came to Japan from China in the 6th century, as in China, they were first introduced with Buddhism, right? In China, it was kind of be begun with Buddhism and attached to important temples. In China right uh, right and it just this kind of multi-story pagoda came to Japan from China and in China it was about Buddhism and in Japan of course it's about Buddhism right so let's say they are talking about the, the same thing right so let's read from the beginning so easy interior access. So interior access, that's the keyword. 
all right interior access mm -hmm. uh, tiles on tile tile on is used as observation post watch towers right uh, size of heavens up to half of the width maybe 50 percent right original um, religious purpose yeah this one is about religious purpose buddhism is about religion so i i, I can say a just for sure because uh, in japan and in china respectively they had buddhism just you know it's it's not my own opinion but according to the text uh, because because in the rails reading requires our facts not just based on our opinion but uh, the the authentic material okay so floor fitting loosely over each other uh, loosely right uh, which means it's not connected with each other so floors aren't connected with each other uh, it's about religious it's about floors it's about observation past right and tiles so uh, the chinese built their pagodas in brick and stone right chinese built them like brick or stone uh, inner staircase inner staircase means interior access right uh, and it's talking about china used them in later centuries mainly as a watchtower so there is a word about watchtower and just right now it concerns with the china so let's uh, let's just make sure it's not about uh, Japanese or if it's about all Japanese as well we could just pick a a and when Pagoda reached Japan however its architecture was freely adapted to local conditions ah, in Japan it changed it uh, they were built less high typically uh, five rather than nine stars mainly with wood circuit was dispensed staircases was dispensed which means floor fitting loosely over each other loosely means not interconnected with each other uh, which means there is no staircase right so it's talking about japan right the observation post means watchtower it, that's chinese and interior access is talking about inner staircase so that's also chinese and uh all right because of type of energies so japanese builders learned to extend eaves of the building so they learned how to extend eaves but it's it's asking the the width should be half so let's see what what's happening here this prevents water rain gushing down the walls pagodas in china and korea have nothing like overhang that's found in pagodas in japan the roof of japan temple building can be made overhang side of the sculpture by 50 percent or more right this is the key word for this one right 50 percent 50 percent so that's talking about china right oh sorry japan for the same reason billers javas brothers have seen further increased weight by cruising covers so uh, their roofs just it's not about proclaimed tiles of many chinese pagodas so chinese pagodas had tiles but with much heavier earthenware tiles which means china and japan just use tiles and use right so that's a so let's put the numbers here that's six and this one is eight right uh-huh 
staircase. There is no staircase, which means 10. All right, local condition. Watchtower, that's about observation post, 7. Right. And inner staircase means uh, interior access. Okay, 5 one. Uh huh, and this one Buddhism is about religious one, nines one. All right, all right, let's read the multiple choice questions here. We have been given a we've been given three, so let's take a look at multiple choice questions here which are given three of them. So the 11 from 11 to 13, the first one. In a Japanese pagoda, Shimbashira, Shimbashira bears full uh, weight of building. So that's a full weight of building, bends under pressure like a tree, connects floors, but as far as, as we know from the uh, question here, Floors fitting loosely, which means there is no connection between floors and stops floors uh, moving far, uh, too far. All right, this one. Shuza Ishida performs experiments. So he performs experiments in order to do something, right? Improve skyscraper design and able to build new pagodas new pagodas learn about learn about mm -hmm, dynamics of pagodas understand ancient mathematics and the last one is the story of a japanese pagoda are linked only by wood so only by wood fastened only to the central pillar and fit loosely on top of each other fit loosely and join it by special, so by special weights, right? All right, let's read from the, here. Um, because there is a word Shimbashira here, that's why this can be somehow the beginning of the answer. So, a Japanese pagoda with this massive trunk like central pillar known as Shimbashira simply flexes and sways during a typhoon and, or earthquake. For centuries, many thought so. But the answer isn't so simple because, so, you know, uh, this, this information used to be maybe somehow true, but after several years, maybe several centuries, this answer just is considered as false information because the startling thing that Simbashira actually carries no load at all, which means it bears full weight of building and this is wrong answer right in fact in some pagoda designs it doesn't even rest on the ground right it doesn't even rest on the ground which means uh, there is no pressure under uh, like a tree right sorry uh, there is no because it never ever rest on the ground and suspended from the top of the pagoda suspended from the top of the pagoda means it's not connected to the top of the pagoda it's impossible to reach to the top of the pagoda which means uh, connects the floors but you know as you see just we have crossed three questions out but for sure uh, it's 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 vitally important to figure out why d should be correct or false right uh, let's try to do our best all right and what is the role of shimbashura the central pillar the best way to understand shimbashura's role is to watch a video by shuzo ishida a structural engineer at Kyoto institute of technology mr ishida known to his students as professor pagoda because his passion to understand pagoda so so Ishida is Shuzo Ishida, right? Somehow difficult to pronounce the name. Performs experiments in order to do. So Shuzo Ishida is doing something here as well. Because just a structural engineer, right? And because of his passion to understand pagoda. 
he wants to learn about all about pagoda which means he wants to learn about dynamics of the pagoda right so let's see has been a series of models and tested them like shakeable dynamics shakeable in his laboratory and that's why the correct answer should be this okay and let's write it down here as well 12th one mm -hmm. in, in short the shimbashira was acting like an enormous stationary pendulum and an, the ancient craftsman apparently without the assistance of a very advanced mathematics you see there is a word mathematics but there is no like he wants to learn about ancient right seem to grasp uh, even it's not about ancient it's about advanced mathematics you grasp principles that were more than thousand years later grasp the principles right grasp the principles uh, grasp here just the synonym to understand to learn to know about something right uh, they applied in the construction in Japan's first skyscraper those questions were on trial error under pressure so there could be a word under pressure, but it's not about like uh, under pressure like a tree. The, these words like somehow like a decoy, right? It's, it's somehow decoy for us that we could be trapped here. A pagoda's loose stack of flower floors could be made to slither to a fro dependent on one another, right? Mm -hmm. So floors could be made to slither to fro independent from one another, right? So there is no connection between floors. Mm -hmm. uh, from side to side, the pagoda seemed to be doing a snake dance with Shimbashira running through a hole in the center of the building. So Shimbashira running up through a hole in the center of the building constrained individual stories. So constrain. So what is the definition of constraint? Constraint means stops. So. It could stop individual stories, right? Floors, that's the keyword. Mm -hmm. So, as you see, we have just located the answer here. Let's write 11th one here. Mm -hmm. All right, the stars of the Japanese pagodas are, so it's, it's fitted loosely here, right? why so let me uh, let me show you one more time here so floors could be made to slither to and fro independent of one another that's why the answer could be 13 here the last location should be here 